So let me try something really quick. Oh wow, you said the execution because your name is the beheader. How original. Who are you? Can somebody count like how many times I've been betrayed in this one video? Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be playing Shadow of War. Obviously, you guys already know you guys already know this. You look at the why do I say this every time? Y'all look at the title and the thumbnail of the video and you know what we're playing. I'ma say it anyway. I'ma I'm, you know what? Let's just let's just get on with the video, alright? So today we're gonna be talking about um the best orcs in the game. Now, why is everybody conquering my fortress? Oh, it's because I have nobody here. Why does it say the same person over and over again? Did he keep doing it? That's a vendetta right there. That nigga hate me. All right, so um, there is no set best orc in the game. Um, I feel like a lot of you think there are because I keep getting requests for a video called um, Ultimate Guide, Best Orcs in the Game. There really isn't a best orc in the game. Um, so instead... I'm going to be showing you guys preferable traits that you're going to be looking for in orcs in the game. Obviously, you don't want them to be, you know, killed as fast as I killed this guy right here. He didn't even get a chance to speak. I, I knifed him in the back and I killed him. Very fast. Although, technically, I am very strong. So, you know, there's some leeway in what kinds of things you're going to be looking for. But anyway... We are going to take a look at our army screen really quick once I get finished bodying this guy and that guy right there. Sorry, I just... Playing Shadow of Mordor and then getting back on here is liberating. Because Shadow of Mordor is kind of stiff compared to this game. But I, I do still love that game. If y'all have not been watching the Shadow of Mordor gameplay, you guys are missing out. You need to hop on that quick. Well, I guess you don't need to do it quick, but just, just do it. So... For those of you guys who are starting to get a little annoyed by the fact that I haven't started yet, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, we are looking at strengths and weaknesses during the entire video. That's what we're going to be looking at. Strengths and weaknesses. Uh, that's why that guy took my fortress. I have no bodyguards. Imagine. Okay, so, there are different classes in the game. But, before we get started with the classes, again, <clears throat> the hell was that? Let's go ahead and look at strengths and weaknesses, alright? You got your four strengths on the left, you got your four weaknesses on the right, okay? First up, we have immunities, then we have hates, class traits, and bonuses. Those are all strengths. There are four different kinds of strengths, alright? Immunities, hates, class traits, and bonuses. Now, for your weaknesses, they will almost never, if ever have all four weaknesses. I I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. They will almost never have all four. So I'm going to switch orcs really quick. So first up, we have mortal weaknesses. Then we have vulnerabilities. Then we have dazed by. And then we have hints. So we're going to start off with the strengths. And the first strength would be immunities. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Let me, I gotta go kill somebody. So let's go ahead and find us an orc. We got Throck the Brewer right here, and he's got two immunities. So he is fireproof and arrowproof. I'm gonna go find him, and I'm going to go demonstrate what an immunity is. Although most of you already know what it is, I'm doing it for the sake of the video, because this is a an ultimate guide and I feel like they should be packed with information for people who borderline suck at the game or just need a little bit of help in getting on the right track. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little while you're gonna know that I don't spare your feelings. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. 
Um, also, I appreciate all the love I've been getting. This series is doing very well, and I know I haven't put out an Ultimate Guide in a little while. That is definitely my fault. I was about to say that might be my fault, but it is definitely my fault. Um, I will try to get these out a lot more often for you guys who have been asking for these. Um, so I do apologize for my slowness in that matter. But we are back on it. So today, again, strengths, weaknesses. All right, so for the sake of my health, I'm going to go ahead and kill him right there first. I'm just going to wait for him to pass by and body him. Oh, he's fast. You played yourself. Oh, uh, that, that only took half of his health. Usually that almost kills people. Okay, nope, stop that sliding shit. I hate that. He's dead. All right, where's that guy that was running away? I can catch up to him in like two seconds. Where'd he go? He's over there. Damn, he's fast. Okay, he better not teleport away either. I can't shoot him. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's a, that's a good way to start it off. So he's immune to arrows. So if somebody's immune to arrows, you cannot... Um, what's it called? What is that move called again? My bad. You cannot... Uh, da, 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 shit. Now I sound super unprofessional because I forgot what the name of the move was. Give me one second. All right. Get back. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Relax. Relax. Italian climb. There we go. Dead. I shot the same guy twice. Dead. 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 Please don't do that again. Okay. You cannot shadow strike. Okay. So if somebody is invulnerable or immune to arrows, same thing really, you can't shadow strike them. Whether it's lethal or not, you can't do it. For speaking for him, you get to die first. And I saw that he tried to run away too. Who are you? Cute. I'm trying to make a video. Can you butt out? Hey, guess what? Congra congratulations, you played yourself. You're dead. Was it worth it? It took me less time to kill you than it took for you to show up here. Ain't that a bitch? Next time, I feel like you should plan out your, your betrayal a little better. Because that was garbagely executed. So, again, this guy is immune to arrows, so I cannot shadow strike him, right? I can't shoot him. Nothing. It shows up as arrow proof. Now, if I try to set him on fire, the same thing will happen. He will not be able to get set on fire because he is fireproof. Do we understand how immunities work now? So, immunities basically are saying, hey, you cannot damage him at all by this type of, of damage. This means is not effective whatsoever. That's what that means, 100%. So, there are different, of course, different types of immunities. You see, I just blew that barrel up next to him. He was holding a shield out, which usually blocks elemental effects, but if he hadn't been doing that, he still would have taken no damage because he is immune. Now, I was about to shoot him because I forgot that he was immune, which is something that I tend to forget a lot, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and kill him and move on to the next orc. All right, there's a guy behind me. Let's go ahead and check his immunities. Usually, orcs will always have immunities, whether it's one or five or six or seven, because I have seen a lot of immunities on orcs before. Oh, this is a good one, this is a good one, okay. I'm gonna have to ask you to get off of that Karagor and give that to me. Okay, so this guy right here is beast proof. You know what that means? It means he cannot be damaged by, guess what? Beast, can I shoot that Karagor? There we go. Why are all my shots getting canceled? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit him with this, with this Karagor. Oh, technically, okay, wait, wait, I was wrong. Technically, I can damage him by doing that, but he's not being hit by a beast. He's he's being hit by my glaive. That's completely different. Yeah, that's completely different. Um, but, for example, if I was using a Drake and I tried to set him on fire, actually, no, that would also kill him because that's not Drake damage, that's fire damage. Okay, better example. I'm sorry for confusing you. 
if I was on a Growl, right, or if it was just a Karagor trying to hit him, like trying to bite him, he wouldn't take any damage from that at all. Or, another perfect example, Ghouls. If he was getting hit by Ghouls, he wouldn't be able to take damage from that at all. Because it's purely beast damage, and he cannot be damaged by beasts. Oh my god, how many people are going to interrupt me? Go ahead, get your licks in so I can kill you. I killed that Karagor in one hit. One hit. Everybody here can go ahead and die. I hope you had fun coming over here just to get bodied. I hope it was worth it. I sincerely do. Actually, no, no, no. I can look at his weaknesses too. Okay. I'm glad he came out of nowhere. So he's arrowproof and frostproof, right? Let me go up to him and try to freeze him. He just deserved to get stuck like that for, for intruding the video. I cannot freeze him, right? Frostproof. He cannot be frozen. Now, I'm going to show you guys one thing that I found interesting. For specifically people who are frostproof, there is a way to get around it. Alright, so if you beat the game and you have this ability right here, I have found it possible to freeze people. You jump over them, and since the game is moving slower, like you're, you're moving slowly in the game, or you're moving fast and everybody around you is moving slow, the ice wears off slower. So if you do that little hit combo where you, you hit them and they stay frozen, they won't unfreeze until you're done hitting them. And for me, that's enough time to kill somebody. So if you've ever seen me kill somebody who's immune to frost by freezing them and punching them, it's because I had that ability active. Now, it doesn't last for too long, so obviously you're going to want to hurry killing them up. But again, if you do as much damage as I do... Five, ten seconds, that's enough to kill somebody. Even if they were at max health, it doesn't matter. They're going to die. Okay, so that's pretty much immunities covered. I probably shouldn't have spent as much time as I did on that. But again, I want to I wanna cover everything. That's what I feel like I should be doing in these ultimate guides. So, next up, we have our enrages. Okay? Now, enrages, enrages are very different. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and demonstrate on another orc. And while I'm getting over there, that's a thousand and a half feet away. While I'm getting over there, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Also, do you guys realize that this is one of the only games that uses feet as a measurement? That's kind of weird. Most games use meters. Or, or kilometers. This one uses feet. It's a little strange. Um, anyway, so in Rages, basically whenever the player performs a certain action or something around the orc is in the environment, the orc will get enraged. And I'll show you what that means if you don't know what that means. I'm going to demonstrate pissing an orc off. That's what I call it. That's not what the game calls it. Don't quote that. That guy is disgusting. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the guy that we want to demonstrate this on is him because he's a berserker. Yeah, I'm going to keep him alive. So, what I need to do is kill this guy right here. Italian, stop selling. Climb. We need to kill that guy right there. Oh, he's legendary. I was not expecting that. Look at him. He try he's trying to run already. You a little bitch. Good night. That was cool as hell. The ice broke when I killed him. Alright, this is the guy that we need to demonstrate on. Assuming he doesn't run away as well. Okay, okay, let me pause it real quick. I'm going to zoom in on him. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the bottom and show you what enrages are. But let's just look at his real quick. He's enraged by weakness, mortal wounds, last stand, cowards, and more guy flies. So, while I'm dodging these hits, I'm going to explain to you what enragement is. So again, enraging an orc is um, basically when something happens around him or, you know, the player. And enrages are pretty unique 
They are very different. There's a lot of different ones. Some of them are more rare than others. But when an orc is enraged, what they will do is they will hit you with a flurry of attacks that cannot be blocked at all. And here's what happens if you try to run away from that. Oh no, 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 you are so ugly. Please stay away from me, sir. Get back. All right, so I need to re-enrage him. So how can I enrage him? He's enraged by weakness, mortal wounds, last stand. Okay, last stand. I'm not gonna go over every enrage in the game, but I will tell you what this one does. He becomes enraged when facing you alone. So basically, when he's the only guy here trying to kill me, he's gonna get enraged. So if I kill you and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. He should now be enraged. Last stand. See, it just kicked in. So he's enraged now. So you see him doing that little bullshit swing thing that I absolutely hate. I'm going to show you what happens if you try to run away from an orc that's doing that. All right. So let me hop over him really quick so I can give him a second to relax. I'm trying to run away from him. Okay, let me get a little bit closer. I'm trying to run away. I'm attempting to run from him. Look what's going to happen. He's going to catch you. If you are not sprinting at maximum speed, even if you do try that, they, they drag their feet like crazy. They're going to catch you. So don't ever try to run away from enraged orcs. When you find them... Oh, shit, 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 move. When you find them... Oh, God, it just kicked in again. I was in the middle of an animation. I'm not letting you kill me. You can get that notion out of your head right now. So when you find enraged orcs, you should, when they're, whenever they're trying to do that to you, constantly press A. If you're on Xbox, it's A. If you're on PS4, it's X. Just constantly press it. Just keep rolling around, all right? This is the only guaranteed safe way to not get bodied by somebody who is constantly doing this. And it's not just berserkers that are enraged. It's every class in the game. Now, I highlighted berserkers on purpose because berserkers in the game always have the most enrages. It's not, it's not uh, an opinion. It's a literal fact that berserkers are known for their rage. That's why they're called berserkers. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'm tired of this. Die. Yeah, but they do that shit for a long time, and it's really annoying. Um, if you want to get them unenraged, for example, if I wanted him to cut that shit out without killing him, I would literally just bring him around other people so that his enrage would just stop. Now, if you're wondering what bringing him around other people would do, since his enrage that was currently active was Last Stand, which triggers when he's fighting the Bright Lord or Italian alone, if you bring him next to other people, guess what? He's no longer alone. Therefore, the enrage will wear off once it finishes its duration. You got to be smart. So when you're fighting orcs, you got to know what makes them enraged and then how to get them to chill the hell out. Sometimes it's just got to run its course. Sometimes you can make it stop. It just depends on what it is. Now, one of the most enraged um, things in the game, I don't even know what to call it. One of the rarest enrages in the game is a hate of Talion. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. Basically, when you get next to him, like when you get next to an orc, they're enraged immediately. Um, but again, that's really rare. I've got one of those again, but that's a weakness, so I'll save it for the weaknesses part of the video. But let's move on to the next tier. So that's done for enrages. Again, if you guys have any questions about what I'm going over, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll definitely get to them when I have time. But... For the next category, after enrages, we have class traits. All right, so class traits, there are different classes in the game, and I was going to save this until this part of the video. So class traits, let's go ahead and go into our appendix. I'm pretty sure I said that right, but if I said it wrong, please don't roast me in the comment section. Appendix, it teaches you all about the different classes in the game in the appendix. So let's go ahead I'm not gonna read all of this because if you can if you've been with me for a while you know I don't like sitting here and playing I don't I don't play games to read shit so I'm not gonna sit here and read it to you guys because nobody wants to see a YouTube video of a guy sitting in a chair reading shit to you if you wanted to read you would do it yourself so 
assassins. Assassins basically roll around and they jump around and they throw shit at you like like really sharp damaging knives and um, they're kind of a pain in the ass to try and hit. Now the main thing with assassins that you need to know is if you go down near an assassin they're going to kill you unless you get saved by somebody which is rare so unless there's a savior you're going to die. You have no chance to get up. That's why they're called assassins. They finish the job. They're a pain in the ass. And if you've seen my Shadow, no, my War from Order playthrough, you've seen a video called I Hate Assassins. That is the reason why. They're annoying. Next up is Beastmasters. Obviously, their name is very straightforward. They are masters of beasts. So these guys are always seen with Karagors, Grogs, or even a Drake sometimes. Yes, Beastmasters can summon Grogs, Drakes, Ghouls, all that shit. It depends on the Beastmaster. So they all can't do it. Just some of them are... Imagine like a tree, right? This tree is everywhere in the game. And it branches out in all these different directions. And these different directions are all the different um, classes. So in this branch, right, you have a Beastmaster... You got one, two, three, four different branches. So you got Karagors, you got Grogs, Drake, and then you got um, Ghouls. So some, for instance, Beastmasters can summon, they have a trait called Den Mother. They can summon Ghouls. Some of them can summon Grogs. It's called Grog Call. Some of them can summon a Drake, Drake Call. And then most of them, most of them can only summon Karagors. All right, so Beastmaster, very self Self-implied, they masters the beast. They always have pets around. Berserkers, we just went over. Um, their one trick pony thing is they like to get enraged. Um, they have some other special things, like they can throw knives at you and shit like that. We'll go over that. Um, I'm not going to go over everyone, like not go up to an orc of every class and show you. Maybe I will. I could. No, I'm going to do three. I'm going to keep the video short. I don't want to do all of them because this video will be an hour long. Alright, so, next we have Commanders. Commanders always have these little flags around them. What they do is they blow a horn, somebody comes in with a flag, and they plant it. Now, what that flag does is it enrages, what we just talked about, where they drag their feet and they hit the shit out of you, enrages every enemy in the area. So you're going to want to shoot or hit that flag to get that shit to chill out, or else you're going to probably take a lot of damage and die, unless you continuously move around pressing A like I do. All right, next up you have Destroyers, one of the simpler classes. They pretty much just throw bombs at you and plant mines on the ground. Um, some of them will have flamethrowers if they're an Olog. Regular orcs cannot have flamethrowers, only the Ologs can. In my personal opinion, flamethrowers are really cool, especially in the fight pits. Um, also, some of you guys have been saying uh, that you want a fight pit ultimate guide. I don't really know how I would do that. I mean, I'll look into it, but I don't... I don't know what you guys are asking me for. Like, I don't know how to... Are you talking about, like, a fight pit series, like a tournament? Or just, like, how to get better at fight pits? Because the fight pit has nothing to do with the player itself. It's all the orcs. Which is why I suck at the fight pits. Because I pretty much brand anybody as long as they look cool. And I'll put them in a fight pit, and most of the time they just get bodied. As you've seen by previous videos, my luck in the fight pit is trash. Alright, next up we have Marksman. Basically, marksmen can only be archers, all right? You will only see marksmen as archers because that's the only class that can be a marksman. Now, marksmen, their only one-trick pony thing is they have a thing called quick shot. It's where they shoot you like three times in rapid succession. It does do less damage than a regular shot, I'm pretty sure. But since there's three, it, it, does, it does more damage. So each individual shot does less, but it adds up. So... Um, their, their thing with them is they have something called never miss, which technically isn't hundred percent accurate, but their accuracy is greatly improved. And with marksmen, they can shoot you while you're in midair and they can shoot you while you're rolling. Yes, your roll has invincibility frames, but marksmen have the ability to shoot through that. So I would be careful around them. That's why I hate marksmen because... You know, you think you're safe when you're rolling. Marksmen look at you and they, they just laugh because they know that you, you're you you're acting a fool because they can shoot the shit out of you while you're rolling around. Slayers. Slayers are... I'll get to that. But Slayers have this ability where they can hit you three times. It's called Triple Strike. That's pretty much... 
No, nope, they got another trait. So triple strikes, when they hit you three times, you usually just got to press Y, Y, Y. Or if you're on PlayStation, it's uh, what shit? Triangle, triangle, triangle. Um, they're very easy to see coming. They almost do the same attack every single time. Um, and Slayers are, they adapt fast. So if you try to spam the same move on a Slayer, it's not going to work. So I will show you what I mean by that. Hold on, there's, there's no captains around here. So watch this. Right, if I were to do this to a slayer <clears throat> over and over again, by like the third or fourth time, he's just gonna block it. Right, he will adapt to the fact that I'm continuously doing that to him, and it just won't work anymore. Nope, don't run away, bitch. It won't work on him because slayers adapt to what the player does. So I feel like the game devs were like, we're tired of people spamming the same orcs to get like not same orcs, but. We're tired of people spamming the orcs with the same moves to kill them. It's kind of cheap. So let's make an orc that adapts to everything the player does. If I die to a slave orc, ain't this a bitch? Alright, so I died to a slave orc. Okay, so um, I'm not just going to let him get away with that. Obviously, I'm going to hunt him down now, but... I'm going to add him to the video. He's a special lucky bitch. I'm going to shame him too. Um, let's see what trait he gains. So not really what trait he gains. And yay, my batteries are low. Fun. But um, let's see what class he becomes. There's no way to tell what class he'll become until he gets it. Because there's no way to predict that. It's random. As far as I'm aware. Um, what else? I got to get back to the classes screen to see. But what do you have? <clears throat> What's this raspy as hell? All right, he is a berserker. I can tell by his shoulder pads. All right, I hope you lived it up. I hope you enjoyed it because now you get to live the rest of your life in complete and utter agony. I haven't been to the Barrow since I beat the game. It's weird back or weird being back in here. All right, let's run through this really quick, um, just to finish this part up before I go kill that bastard. I'm not even gonna shame him. I'm just gonna kill him. All right, so we did these, we did these marksman, we did slayer. All right, the last ones we have a tank tracker and a trickster. Tanks are very straightforward. Tanks, all they really do is they take more damage than regular orcs, and they can heal themselves in battle. Trackers, they hunt you down. Um, if you get near them, they'll blow a horn, and they can follow you pretty much anywhere. Tricksters, they throw down bombs, like concussion bombs and shit like that, and they can teleport around. And sometimes tricksters have bodyguards that look exactly like them. Um, they're called decoys, and they're kind of annoying until you get the hang of spotting which one's the real one. It is, you, you can tell the difference between a, um, a decoy and the regular if you just pay attention to what they look like, like on a very, very microscopic level, they have subtle differences. Now they all sound the same, but you can see the differences in like their war paint or something like that. It's always some small difference that most people don't notice. Now, once you play the game enough, you get to noticing these differences. So let's get over here and kill our buddy, the slave who thought he's all that because I didn't press Y. And because I let myself get down two times before I met this guy. If this was a stream, I would ask you guys if you wanted me to shame or kill him. But it's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut his head off. Or however Italian decides to murder him. Douche the slave. I hope you enjoyed that little victory you had. I guess I'll take this Karagor too. Alright, there's a captain over here that didn't kill me. Who is this? Alright, this is a destroyer. So you see this bomb right here? That's something a destroyer put down and it blew up. Alright, let me see if I can find one. That. Destroyers put those things down. Those are bombs that destroyers put down. Now, these are cool because you can step in it and jump out really quick. You can move. Alright, so it doesn't blow up the second you get in it. There is some time for you to get out. Um, also, destroyers have something called Last Blast or Final Blast, where they drop bombs whenever they die. Now, as long as you don't, like, absolutely suck at the game, you will see the circles on the ground and obviously move, assuming you don't want to get hit by a bomb. 
They don't do that much damage, but I mean, it is elemental effect unless they didn't have an element. But either way, they're really not that hard to see or dodge. It's very simple. I'm going to kill that guy first since he has nothing to do with me. Okay. <clears throat> and you're a slave. I don't want to hear shit from you. You are literally... You've, you've been enslaved by your own race. Oh, well. I don't want to hear no jokes from y'all. <laughs> nah, but, like, seriously. You were all bred for the same reason. March in the same army, and they enslaved you because they know you're a bitch. So, come here. You want to talk shit? Let's go. One. Two. Your health is starting to get a little bit low there, buddy. Three. Imagine dead was it worth it I don't think so all right since I'd rather not get bodied I'm just gonna summon or bring everybody back around me so I don't get killed while I'm in the menu goodbye bitch okay so that covers class traits and rages yeah I'm not gonna go over to every work and show you how they work just the ones that I just went around with. Um, but I'm not going to go after everyone. So, there's class traits and rages and their immunities. Last up is bonuses. So, bonuses is where you can usually find... Not even usually. Bonuses is where you will find their traits. Alright? So, this is where the orc's rarity comes in handy. So, look at this guy right here. Rotok the Power Hungry. His... His um, rarity is just regular, okay? You can tell their rarity because it'll literally tell you. So this guy's regular. It won't put anything. It's just regular text, regular color, right? This guy has a yellow tint behind his name. That makes him a higher rarity. Now the three rarities in the game are regular, which is no tint, epic, which is a yellow tint, and then legendary, which is... I'll show you right now since I have five legendary training orders. Legendary, which is a purple tint. All right, so no tint, yellow tint, purple tint. Now this is where this tab comes in handy. So let's go ahead and look at the bonuses for this guy right here. Oops, my bad. So he's got a cursed weapon. So if any orc has a an elemental weapon, right? It'll be on this panel, bonuses. So he has a cursed weapon. He has a gang of Ologs, and he's riding a Karagor, which makes him a Karagor rider. You can tell if they're a Karagor rider because, obviously, they will be in the army screen with a Karagor underneath their crotch. That sounded a little weird. On the back of a Karagor. So this is where you will find whether they have... What's it called? Epic traits, legendary traits, which are basically just more epic traits. Um, any gangs or any pets or any other type of special ability. So anything that makes an orc unique, basically, will be in here. So let's go ahead and look at our epic guy really quick. Now he has more, okay? Bonuses will vary. Different orcs may have different bonuses. That not even may they will. One of the ones that I want to highlight is Beast Slayer. One that not every orc has. It's actually not rare, but I'd say maybe forty or fifty percent of orcs have this trait. Basically, what this does is it lets them kill beasts instantly. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's qualified in the game as a beast, they can kill it in one hit. Now they don't go up to it and swing on it and kill it. There's an animation for them to kill them. It's just very, very instant. It's instant death. It's like a deterrent. So if you're going to fight an orc that has Beast Slayer on, don't bring a beast to them. That's very stupid. Also, earlier when I was talking about Beast Masters and talking about how they can summon different things, this guy has something called a Growl Call. You know what that does? It summons Growls. Not even multiple. It summons a Growl. But he can just do it multiple times. Just not if he can only do it once if there's a Grog alive. So when that Grog dies, he can do it again. But again, this is where you will find whether they have a, uh, a pet being always a Grog, or not a Grog, a Karagor, my bad. 
um, any epic traits, which are these red ones. So if you, if you see a tab that's red, that's an epic trait. You will see their elemental weapon. If they have one, not all orcs have elemental weapons. And then you'll see any bonus traits. Bonus traits are things that I call because um, they're not standard. Now the game doesn't really differentiate between them, but I do myself because it makes it easier to understand. So a bonus trait is a thing like a Karagor pack, which is specifically for Beastmasters. Or a Beast Slayer, which is just random throughout the entire game. Alright, now let's go ahead and look at our legendary guy here. He has two epic traits. Alright, legendary orcs can only have two. If you see an orc in the game with more than two, somebody cheated to get that. I'm 99% I'm sure that if you see somebody with more than two, somebody glitched the game or did some bullshit to get more than two. Because it's not, there's no way to do that the regular way you play the game. Alright. So, again, for special things or for special traits, this guy, you epic traits, he's got Fire Master and Quick Shot. Again, I talked about Quick Shot um, for Marksman, but he's got Sniper Shot. This is another marksman trait. So basically, never misses. Now that's not entirely true like I said. He can just shoot you a lot better than regular um, archers can. So that pretty much covers traits. Actually, let me show you guys one more thing. So let me go ahead and go in here. If I give you guys, or if I give him an epic trait, right? Wait, was that the right one? I don't think it was. It might it might not have been. No, that wasn't it. That was great strength. Okay. Epic trait. Champion trait. That's what it's called. All right. Champion traits are epic traits that are specific to a certain class. So, for an example, this guy is a destroyer. So, his champion trait and champion traits don't change within the same class. So, this destroyer... His champion trait is Epic Bombs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? Epic Bombs. Now, since he is a Fire Elemental, his bombs are obviously going to be Epic Fire Bombs. Now, let me do it again. This guy's a Tank. No, this guy's a Trickster. Commander. Beastmaster. Alright. Um, um, um uh, let's do one for the commander i forgot what his is called but again they don't change in between classes all right so his champion trait for all commanders will always be fanatical gang lead a gang that becomes enraged if he's attacked so champion traits are useful if you want to make your orcs like better at whatever class they are but if you don't care about that then leave champion traits alone in my opinion, champion traits are very helpful depending on situation. So champion traits are absolutely 100% situational. Anyway, so we finished with all of our strengths. Now I'm going to run through the weaknesses pretty fast because these weaknesses don't really need a lot of time to get um, discussed. I can pretty much explain all the weaknesses in this army screen right here. This will probably take me like 5 minutes or less. So. When you're looking for orcs, oh, wait, wait, sorry, before we get to that, strengths. So, when we're going over what you're going to be looking for in an orc, it's pretty much personal opinion. So, you're going to, in my definition of what you're going to be looking for, you're going to want somebody with as many, as many immunities as possible, as many enrages as possible. Class traits, that number doesn't matter. It differs between different classes and as many bonuses as possible. And those bonuses, you're going to want to get at least one of them to be an epic trait. Two, if you make everybody legendary. Personally, I don't do that. I usually don't change people's rarities because I feel like that takes the fun out of the game. Um, unless you're just doing it like once or twice. Um, at the beginning of the game or the middle of the game. But what I will not do is I will not make everybody up here legendary. Because again, for me, it takes the fun out of the game. If everybody's the same rarity, there's no point in having a rarity system. It's stupid. That's just me though. It's starting to get hot as shit in here. Okay, so. Um, for your strengths, again, you're going to be looking for personal preference. You're just going to want to look at every orc in here and see what you like. 
which you don't like. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't like a strength, but some people do. I mean, some people are picky about it. Now, weaknesses is where I get picky. Here's where I decide whether I'm going to kill an orc or not. Is I look directly at their weaknesses. I couldn't care less about their strengths. If their weaknesses are trash, I'm going to kill them. So, first up, you've got... Let me see if I can find one. Alright, first up, you've got your mortal weaknesses. These are rare, alright? Not every orc has a mortal weakness. Few of them do. Mortal weaknesses... Here's what I go off of. If an orc has a mortal weakness that is not terrified of Morgai flies, I kill them immediately. Like I will never brand an orc that has a mortal weakness. Now, that guy I'm going to kill in a minute off screen because I, I actually never brand orcs that have a mortal weakness. So I have no idea how the hell this guy got here. But yeah, so as far as mortal weaknesses go, don't brand them. They suck. Basically... A mortal weakness, for example, if a mortal if a mortal weakness was terrified of being set on fire. Actually, no, that's Shadow of Mordor. Um, can be killed instantly if set on fire or terrified of something or can be killed instantly of something. Kill them. Because they, they will run away from a fight 90% of the time. They suck. Don't brand them. They're trash. All right? That sounded a little aggressive, but I'm just saying, like, they, they are not worth your time. They are bad. All right, next up, you've got your vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities are very simple. Something that can damage your orc more than anything else. So pretty much, they're, they're very strong weakness. It's a, it's a tip from the game saying, hey, if you want to kill this guy faster, use this. Now, vulnerabilities are fine as long as it's something not easily exploitable. So... If I see an orc with a vulnerability to fire or poison, I'm going to kill them. Or bale fire, I'm going to kill them. Um, stealth. Stealth is fine. If it's anything that a player can do, it's fine as long as it's not... Oh, wait, no, that's days by. Yeah. If it's anything a player can do, it's perfectly fine. As long as it's not being shot in the head. Don't have them if they're easily to kill if, they're shot, if you shoot them in the head. Um, especially not if you're going to put them in an overlord position because that makes killing your overlord very easy. So um, vulnerabilities for the most part are fine as long as it's what I do is if they're vulnerable, make sure it's only beast fodder, which is pretty normal for orcs because you see I didn't even do this on purpose. They are, look, one, two, three, and four. They are all vulnerable but their only vulnerability is beast water, which isn't really used that much in the game. Um, so, again, that weakness is perfectly fine. Now, next up, you've got your dazed by. This is the one you're going to look... This is the one you're going to want to look out for. Never put an overlord in position if he has something he can be dazed by. It's not smart. Unless it's dazed by brutality, which cannot be used. Actually, no, that's not true. It can be. Yeah, if, if somebody can be dazed, don't make them an overlord. And I almost, I will almost never make them a war chief. This guy obviously was an exception because I, I don't know why I put him up there. But I, it might have just been a fill a spot. But I would have never done that unless I was in a rush or just putting him up there for no reason. But um, being dazed by something... I can actually go ahead and show you that one. Basically, when you daze an orc, they sit there and they just, they're stunned. And when you stun an orc, say they were immune to a certain type of damage, they are no longer immune to that type of damage. So, this is where the strengths and differences start to intertwine. Say an orc is immune to being shot, right? Immune to range. And he is dazed by executions. Meaning that if I execute him by pressing YB or what is it, triangle and, and circle on PlayStation. If I do an execution, all of his strengths are negated immediately. Now they come back once he is done being stunned. But again, say I can't shoot him normally and I stun him or I daze him. I can shoot him now because he's dazed. So that's a very useful trick in killing orcs that are um, that have vulnerabilities like that, or not vulnerabilities, dazed buys. So I'm gonna go over here to see this captain really quick. If he doesn't have one, 
Um, I'll look for one more, but I'm really hoping this guy won or this guy has one, so I don't have to you know fly around Mordor 30 times looking for one guy that has a days by. All right, he's in this area somewhere. Usually he just spawns in when you fly over here. That's one thing I noticed. This game operates like a treadmill. They're not always in the space that um, that it says they are in. You have to go over there and wait a little bit for them to spawn. And I don't have information on this guy, so you know what? I gotta find a worm really quick. And there's one right there. Where are you going, buddy? You got something I need from you. Give me that information. I don't know what this slave orc is running up to me for. I'm not getting killed again. If my screen would like to load, that's cool. There we go. Okay. All right, perfect. He's got a daze by. So he's fear of more guy flies and soft edit. So if I shoot him in the head, he's going to get daze. And if I shoot a more guy fly nest around him, he's going to get daze. Now, to show you something, he's fireproof, poison proof, beast proof. No, yeah, beast proof and curse proof. So fireproof. What was it? Was it fire and poison or fire and frost? It's poison. All right, that's not ideal, but it'll work. So, let me try something really quick. Oh, wow. You said the execution because your name is the Beheader. How original. Who are you? Can somebody count, like, how many times I've been betrayed in this one video? Like, how many people think that they can just show up and kill me? Which is the funniest thing. Like, I am perfectly capable of bodying my own troops. Alright, I'm gonna kill you now. Go ahead, try and kill me. Not gonna happen, but I'm glad you got your, your, your choice. Your chance. Now you sit there while I kill this guy. Oh, he's enraged by Frost. I don't care. One, two, dead. Was it worth it? You are so ugly. You are so unbelievably ugly. You asked for it. You betrayed me. That was not my fault. That was your fault. You should have known that I was going to kill you within 20 seconds of you showing up here with that bullshit. Alright, so for this guy, I got a skill point. Skill points don't even phase me anymore. I have no reason to have them. Alright. Oh, I thought that was a fire. That's the only reason I ran over here. Okay. Let's bring him over here. There's got to be a grog barrel around here somewhere. There we go. There's one. Hey, buddy. Come here. Nigga, stop looking at the dragon and come over here. Dumbass. So stupid. All right, see? The drake shot the grog barrel. It blew up, and he's not on fire. It's because it's an immunity of his. Now, if I come over here. It's a fireplace, right? Yep. And I shoot him in the head, right? He is now dazed. It says it right there, and he just sits there looking stupid. Watch this. I can set him on fire now because he's dazed, and he's taking damage from the fire. That's what dazed buys do. So, again, situational, but very helpful. Very, very helpful. This is one of the things that I always pay attention to when I'm looking at orcs. So, when you're branding people, you don't want orcs to have days buys. Now, if they do have one, that's okay. As long as it's not very easily exploitable. Especially if an orc can do it to your guy. Like, it's okay if the player can do it. But if an orc can do it, don't, don't brand him. Just kill him. It's not worth it. Um, and if you're wondering, because um, I wondered this about myself, or about this myself, um... When it comes to either shooting an orc in the foot or shooting an orc in the head, archers and hunters cannot do that. So they might be able to shoot them in the foot of the head, but it won't trigger their days buys. 
So ranged attack, ranged attacks from archers or just ranged enemies in the game don't count. Only the player can do that. Now, last but not least, you have your hints. Okay, hints really isn't that m much worth going over, um, but I only say that because I know exactly how it works. So hints are basically just a way for the game to show the player that this orc can be killed this way. So it's not a weakness. Every orc in the game has hints, all of them, except for, okay, captains. Captains, war chiefs, and overlords. But these regular guys, you can't look at them, so obviously they don't count. But when I say every orc in the game, I mean captains and higher. They all have hints. Now, it's not a weakness, technically. It's just showing you how you can kill a specific orc. Now, most captains will have three. Very few of them will only have two. But it, it all depends. It all depends on the whole the whole makeout. So, that's what you're going to be looking for. You're going to be looking for only captains. I'm going to tell you something I used to do. I'm going to tell you something I used to do that you should not do because it takes way too long to do. I used to only brand orcs if they didn't have any weaknesses. Only hints. The problem with that is that takes forever. And it's not even worth doing. I mean, looking for them takes the fun out of the game. Also, that was a commander I just killed. And once I finished killing the rest of his crew, that right there is an inspiring banner. Get out of here. That right there is an inspiring banner. All right, so enemies near this thing will automatically be enraged. You can easily um, destroy them by either hitting them or shooting them. Very simple. It's one hit. They don't have health bars. It's just a one hit. So, where was I? What was I saying? Yeah. Don't only look for hints. That should be the last thing you look at. But, yeah, when you're looking for orcs to brand, the three things that you're going to be looking at from me that I suggest to you guys, you're going to want to pay attention to their bonuses and then their, what's it called, their mortal weaknesses and their days by. So if you see a skull with an X, kill him immediately. Don't brand him. If you see days by, definitely check that page. If you see vulnerabilities, definitely check that page. Anything in class traits, hates, or immunities does not matter. And then their, their hints doesn't matter either. So this is, this is basically the process that I use to choose my orcs. Um... The one last thing I want to go over before I end this video. I said looking at hates doesn't really matter, but it does rarely. So if you guys have ever done a siege or a defense and one of your orcs kills another one of your orcs, they did that for a reason. The reason is because there's a thing in the game, there's a mechanic called rivalries. Now, rivalries are when one orc is going to hate another orc. It's literally in their enrage tab. They hate this other guy, right? Now, the reason your orcs are probably attacking, not even probably, this is why they're doing it. If they ever do that, which is rare, you branded two orcs who have a rivalry with each other. Don't ever do that. And if you do do that, make sure to keep them separate. Like, don't have them in the same area because guess what's going to happen? They're going to attack each other. That's what they do. Rivalries, if you brand both of them, which I highly recommend you don't do, they're going to try to kill each other. It's just what they do. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for the guide video um, when it comes to all the, the, the whole breakdown and how I brand orcs and shit like that. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. Comment any other types of videos that you guys want me to put out in the series that we're doing for the Ultimate Series. Um, somebody in the comments explain to me what you mean by a Fort Pit guide because I don't know what that means. Um, and then again, if you guys have any future requests for what's it called, Ultimate Guide videos, just put them down in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I can. But... Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys on the next episode for the channel. Or if you just watch these guys, I'll see you guys. I said she. Imagine. I will see you guys on the next video.